I came upon this stake, which is here to keep you from driving up onto this portion of the grass. But here, I don't know, do I take relief from it? Can I remove it? I don't know. And so this is a great reason to learn how to play in two balls. And I'm gonna have Blakey explain to us what you do if there isn't an official available to answer your question. Radio. Hi, Marcella, how are you? Great. Got a little bit of a sticky situation here. So, we don't know whether it's movable or immovable, uh, or if you are confused about uh, a situation where you're not sure what to do, uh, you can play two balls in stroke play only. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that it's uh, immovable and you're going to take relief. Because uh, you get relief from an immovable obstruction. It's been, if it's been deemed one, at an immovable obstruction, then you get free relief. Correct. So work out your nearest point of relief. I've got another ball for you. Work out your nearest point of relief. Uh, go into that flag stick. Um, I think it's here. I think you might be being a little bit... Uh, Generous? <laughs> it's most likely going to be there. Okay. Well, you're not going to be hitting... You're not hitting that, uh, okay. that obstruction. Okay. Correct. Okay. And it's the nearest point. Okay. Okay, and from there you get a club wedge. Uh, you can use your wedge. With the monkey on it or uh, off? Or you can use this cute gorilla oh, driver that you have. Okay. This is ancient. <laughs> it is. All right. Yeah, I'll cleave and launch it. So here, no closer. And no closer would be more like over, over there. That's no okay. closer. And do you want another? <laughs> there you go. Okay. So you get to drop within that area. All right. So now, I'm just take... before you drop, uh -huh. just before you drop, what you have to do is you have to make sure you um, announce which ball you want to count if they both are, are applicable, if the rule is applicable for both balls. Uh, so which one would you want to count? So I um, want this one to count if you do get free relief from this immovable obstruction. Okay. So this is my ball okay. taking free relief from the immovable uh, obstruction. Now if, if it's a movable obstruction and this one is uh, you're not allowed to take the relief that you just did, then that is the one that will count. So for, you haven't done anything wrong here, you're just trying to work out which one's gonna right, count. Right, so this was free relief, so I'm this still lying two, yep. and I'm gonna hit this shot Correct. up to the green. Yep, have a go. And that one's marked, and I've said what that ball is. Oh, I'll go ahead and hit it real quick, even though this isn't my club. Okay. So okay. you've got that one. It's on the green. Now we're going to take the obstruction out here. So just move that obstruction if you can. Now if you actually can't move the obstruction, it automatically becomes an immovable obstruction. Oh, I see. So uh, now, so now it's here's this one, and I don't want this one to count. I want the other one to count. Right? One, that's correct. That's but they correct. both have to go in the hole. Correct. You've got to finish out both, and then afterwards, you must tell the committee, even if you had the same score with both balls. Well, see, I like that one better. Too uh, bad, huh? I already designated that the other one was my per preferred ball. That's a really, really good point. If uh, Marcella had hold that ball and just said, yep, that's the one I want to count, uh, that's not permitted. You must hold out. Once you decide to use this rule, you must follow through and hold out both balls. Hope that makes sense but it's a little bit complicated but it's a great thing to do when there is not a rules official available when you come to a situation where you're not sure what the rule is in stroke play and what would you do in match play marcella in match play you've got to make that decision right then between you and your opponent correct and you you if you don't agree in match uh, match play if you don't agree the person who doesn't own the ball they can make a claim and then sort it out with a committee as soon as they see someone available. I'm Marcella Smith and this is Blakey. He's with his little gorilla. He is at golf rules underscore questions and I am at rulesdiva.com.